perspective that's about 60 feet across. Then you're going to bring up a, another rocket, that would be your fifth rocket, that one stays up there. And then two great big spools of thread. Now this video is about three, almost four years old, so it's, there's some stuff we learned that's kind of outdated, but the concept still remains. Instead of having a solid house pointing up towards the sky, we're going to point them down to the ground and beam power up to ourselves. We beam that power up, and that's what ignites the rocket engine. Um, this is an MPD ion type rocket engine. I really can't explain how the thing works, so please don't embarrass me by asking. Um, what we'll do is we'll drop the ribbon slowly and gently down back to the Earth. Now we start out at about 200, 300 miles up that lower orbit, and at the same time we push further and further out past geosynchronous orbit, 22,000 miles up, all the way out 62,000 62, miles. We drop this very thin, very fragile ribbon back down to Earth, directly south of San Diego on the equator, about 2,500 miles south of San Diego, about 2,000 miles west of Quito, Ecuador. Basically, it's a big, empty spot in the middle of the ocean. The nearest land is more than 500, 600 miles away. We drop it down to a ship anchored out in the ocean. Again, this video is old. This ship is radically different. We drop it out to this ship, and that's the first step. This ribbon is very, very small and fragile. If it's going to break, it's probably going to break in these first few months. So what we immediately have to start doing is expanding it, widening it. So again, using lasers to power the system, we send up what we call a construction lifter to widen it. It's the same thing that the Romans would do when they built a suspension bridge. We're in the Seattle area, we're building a bridge right now that's using the same technique. Basically, they would shoot a bow and arrow with a string across the canyon, and then pull another string, and another one, and another one. And as it got wider and stronger, it would carry more weight. We're doing essentially the same thing. This process will take about three years or so. As we make it wider, we're able to carry more and more cargo. Our goal is to carry 100 tons per week and roughly $400 per pound. Uh, to put that in perspective, if the space shuttle flies at all, it flies two or three times a year. It carries 20 to 40 tons worth of cargo um, at an estimated cost of a billion dollars per launch. So, yeah, we think we can do a little bit better than that.